Hey guys, the World Economic Forum is calling for a one world currency. They're about to abandon the traditional system of money. What underpins a world order is always the financial system. Mm. I, I was very privileged. My father was an advisor to Nixon when they came off the gold standard in 71, and so I was brought up with a kind of inside view of how very important the financial structure is to absolutely everything else. And what we're seeing in the world today, I think, is we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a new one. And the new one, the new accounting, is what we call blockchain. It means digital. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. It also raises huge dangers in terms of the balance of power between states and citizens. In my opinion, we're going to need a digital constitution of human rights if we're going to have digital money. Uh, but also, this new money will be sovereign in nature. Most people think that digital money is crypto and private, but uh, what I see are superpowers introducing digital currency. The Chinese were the first. The U.S. is on the brink, I think, of moving in the same direction. The Europeans have committed to that as well. And the question is, will that new system of digital money and digital accounting accommodate the competing needs of the citizens of all these locations so that every human being has a chance to have a better life? Because that's the only measure of whether a world order really serves. This happened at the World Government Summit on March 29th, 2022 in Dubai. And the title of the first session was, Are We Ready for a New World Order? I just want to go over the words of what she said, and I want you guys to listen. What we're seeing in the world today is I think we are on the brink of a dramatic change where we are about to, and I'll say this boldly, we're about to abandon the traditional system of money and accounting and introduce a one, a new one, the new one, the new accounting, which is what we call blockchain. It means digital, she continued. It means having an almost perfect record of every single transaction that happens in the economy, which will give us far greater clarity over what's going on. Unlike current cryptocurrencies, the system she describes will give the central banks complete control over people's money. The banks will be able to track every transaction and even control how it is spent, blocking it from being transferred to people or organizations it deems undesirable. This may sound like a dystopian sci-fi scenario of the distant future, but this has already been seen in Canada when, without a court order, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau used emergency powers to order banks to freeze accounts of individuals who donated to the truckers' convoy, the Freedom Convoy. Crowdfunding sites were also forced to return millions of dollars that had been collected for the truckers. Isn't it interesting that the Bible predicted that one day soon, the one world government and the one world monetary system, as, long, as well as the one world leader, will be coming? But implementing such a global digital currency system would require the establishment of a global digital currency and a global digital identity for every person on the planet. If you've heard of blockchain, you've probably heard of Bitcoin. If you've heard of Bitcoin, you've probably heard of Ripple. Keep your eyes on Ripple, as this is the World Economic Forum's pet puppy. Blockchain technology is an Excel spreadsheet that is spread around so everyone can see it, basically. This is extremely trackable. This is kind of what the banks are already doing, and the banks and the governments are always looking for a way to monitor transactions. And blockchain technology is not the new thing. The governments are already doing this, but they're forced to look at it from transactions from multiple sources. If this becomes centralized, in other words, a one-world government, it will just make it easier for everyone involved. CBDCs, or central bank digital currencies, allow ultimate control by a one-world government that can assign a value on you. No other mechanism will have as much control over the life of a person than a digital currency that creates a system of auditable credits and debits and influenced by your social credit score. Guys, where have we heard this before? It's all coming together. Guys, this is getting nuts. The one world monetary system following, coming up, it's getting crazy. We'll talk soon.